Hi guys. I wanted to um, shoot a video. Um, I finished up a few journals over the last couple days and I wanted to kind of flip through those and let you guys see how those have come out, have turned out. And um, I'm pretty happy with, with both of these. These are um, two of the file folder journals. Um, that I started the series on and I guess I sort of realized that you know I don't know that was sort of going nowhere but um and I don't know if anybody even really cared about that but um you know I I have moments of inspiration to work on certain things and and then other things um you know kind of come into view and you know and it's not that I I, I don't know, maybe I do have a hard time focusing, but I just need to be busy and I get bored sort of easily with, um, when I feel, you know, obligated to do something. And I know that seems crazy, but, um, that's just kind of how I am. So anyway, I did finish two of those, um, larger, like the, uh, journals that I started, um, with the hanging file folders and um they you know the the two turned out um pretty cool i'm ha i'm pretty happy with them so i thought i'd show you a couple of them and um just kind of as i feel inspiration i i work on them and so i thought well you know so much for that series but <clears throat> here we go anyway so this one um these are really different for me kind of different um, style, different feeling. Um, I don't know. I guess I was sort of trying to go with a, like a bohemian sort of feeling and, um, you know, I'm not sure if I accomplished that, but yeah, you know, I don't really care. I like the way they turned out. So anyway, um, so this is one of them and I made like a, you know, kind of a pocket on the back as well as the front using a, a doily that I cut in half and um, just put a couple of pot or a couple of uh, you know tags in here. This is a bookmark that I picked up at a thrift store, but um, and some book paper. Um, and I've got a little um, garment pin here with some with some old buttons. Um, you know, I really like this one. It's got like a brick wall kind of little pattern in it. Oh, it's kind of weird. But, um, and just a key with some beads and another weird button on the, on the string here. So, and then it's just a, um, hitch post closure with a piece of elastic attached, um, on the back with an eyelet. And then, uh, a couple little tags in the back here. I had an Escher book that, I am disassembling and, and cutting up, so making some tags out of some of that paper, and then just some longer tags that I thought would kind of stick out there so you could see that there's actually something there. Anyway, so um, I hope you guys can see this okay. Um, just, you know, some larger um, tags and um, pieces of book paper folded up and put some sort of crazy stuff on the front pocket here. Some old buttons and a little bit of blingy sort of stuff. A little cluster. Um, yeah, I just inserted a bunch of stuff in that pocket. So, um, piece of a coloring book. I love using coloring books in my journals lately. <clears throat> this is a pocket, obviously. Some advertisements. Um, there's a bridge score sheet. Inside there. And then uh, some marbled paper that I coffee dyed. And then a big tag, a big shipping tag that's coffee dyed and then sprayed with some kind of gold spray. <clears throat> Another tag from a coloring book. A little sort of 
trifold um, journaling spot there. A lot of pockets. Um, just a little kind of a tuck spot here made out of one of those little frames that I made uh, with a little picture of a moth. And there's actually acetate inside there. Um, this is that note paper that I copy dyed. Very colorful and um, loose, I think, as far as the content of the journal. Some book paper from the Mother Goose book. In there. Another pocket. Some book paper. The airplane maintenance book <laughs> that I love. Couple little tags. This is folded. That should probably be folded the other way. Be easier to write on the other side of that. There we go. This is a really fast flip because um, I do want to try to get through both journals in one video. Get in there. Okay. And I just, you know, stitched um, some different trims and stuff along the edges here in this whole book. Um, bingo card. One of the weird cards from the weird game. No idea what that game was. This is from a stenotype instruction book. There's a picture of my grandma. <laughs> Some coffee dyed paper. Her name was Goldia, by the way. I don't ever remember meeting her, but I hear she was pretty cool. So yeah, I just went very, um, very non-matchy-matchy um, with colors <laughs> in this journal. So everything is very out there, I think, which I kind of like. So Envelope. Super quick flip, huh? Kind of a belly band there. Well, I guess it not kind of a belly band. I guess it is a belly band. <laughs> Piece of book paper. And some random, random paper. <clears throat> piece of that note paper, some kind of advertisement. And a lot of the coffee dyed paper I just sprayed with some alcohol ink um, before I put the book together. So pocket or an envelope made out of some sheet music. And there's like a pocket 
behind the envelope there. Some that note paper and a little tag. And I put a bunch of weird stuff in here. There's a flash card, some kind of funny postcard. I thought it was kind of funny. A bridge score sheet. Um, and a playing card. Oh, oh it's the Joker. <laughs> so a little tag. couple pieces of Tim Holtz paper there and a little um, like library pocket made out of a time card and then this is part of that um, file organizer thing that I disassembled and that just sticks in there This is from an old math book. Monopoly, community chess card, a little tag. This is a um, library style pocket made with book paper and a decoupaged uh, napkin on there. And there's a bunch of stuff in this pocket. This little tag, piece of book paper from that flower book that I almost killed myself with. Some advertising. Um, a little tag, and that stuff all just goes in there. There's a little pocket or envelope with just some large sheets of paper and, you know, for journaling. And then this little guy has like four um, pockets. I love pockets. And a bunch of stuff in the back of this as well. It's a piece of paper from the flow book for paper lovers. Um, some acetate. Just a piece of coffee dyed paper. This is like a whole sheet. That stuff all goes in there. Yeah. That's what happens when I'm in a hurry. Okay. So, and then I showed you the back. So that's the first one. Um, and the second one, I had a hard time figuring out what I was going to do for a closure on this. So um, I wanted to kind of stay with the orange theme and I just happened to have this piece of ribbon. And so I just tied it around it <laughs> um, and it's not attached. It's just tied on there. So, and this is the one that I was trying to go, like I said, with the orange theme. So a lot of the um, trim and um that kind of stuff in the journal is, is orange. Not necessarily all of the tags and stuff, but I guess I sort of went orange with that stuff. Some of it, anyway. Oh, ticket style tag there. is from a, um, what is that from? Um, sheet music. <laughs> and 
This one's not quite as thick as that as that other one. Not as fat. I don't, I don't think it had as many pages in it. Bridge score sheet and a card from the weird game. A little tuck spot here made with a little cluster. And a pocket. And some big journaling cards in there. Some book paper. That's from that construction book. A sheet of coffee dyed coffee dyed paper and a little tag some decoupaged uh, napkin on the mother goose book page and a little tag on the other side there a little paper bag in here And I just made, you know, the bottom of the bag into a little tuck spot there. It says, want to dance? <laughs> Playing card. And this is an envelope. Um, and I just stuck a little file folder in here with um, just some tiny little tags and stuff in there. This cute little bingo game that I got at a thrift store. I can't, can't remember when, but recently. I thought it was so cute. I love the little, the little cards. And this flips out. There's a card in there. You know, I don't get too fancy with my flips and pockets and that kind of stuff. I'm I'm pretty straightforward with pockets and tuck spots. I do appreciate the kind of fancy, cool, weird flip outs and that kind of stuff. I think they're neat. I just, I don't know, <laughs> maybe I just don't think about making that stuff or something. But. I love it in other people's journals. I'm just usually pretty straightforward with my stuff. Somewhat simple, I guess. So these two journals, I think, um, are very junky, you know, um, very much just. Uh, random, um, you know, stuff put in here and um, embellishments are all somewhat random and, um, you know, like this, I just hacked it off of a, a scarf, you know, this fabric. Um, not extremely um, tedious. You know, it's just very much, um, just very loose and uh, random. This is a little tuck. So, piece of a like a um some kind of calendar. It's like a real heavy card. There's 
uh, flyleaf from a um, Reader's Digest book. So I might be taking a drive to uh, Texas <laughs> um, in the next day or so. And if I do, it's going to be like a marathon drive, like get there as quick as we can, get back. I'm in Washington State, so it's, you know, it's like um, 2,000 miles plus to Houston, so that's where we would be going and um so I might be doing that and that will be super fun um hoping to do that and there and back in four days so anyway just wanted you to know <laughs> in case uh you know I don't make it back I guess I don't know <laughs> I will I'll make it back So, all right, so that's those two journals. Those are the um, file folder journals that I finished up uh, a couple days ago, and I just wanted to share those with you guys. So, oh, there's a little paper flower on there. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to end, I'm going to stop this video, and then uh, when I come back, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do another video. I have another journal that I want to show you, um, and I am going to list those two on Etsy um, here within the next few days, hopefully, uh, hopefully before I leave for Texas, and then um, um, I'll, I'll video this other journal, and then I wanted to talk to you guys about a um, bunch of this crap that's on my desk, so anyway, well, thank you for watching, um, hope you liked it, let me know what you think about those journals, um, I was a little bit out of um, my element making those, so uh, be kind. <laughs> but anyway, you know, no, be honest. I, I like honesty, so just let me know what you think, you know. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and like and share and all that good stuff. And um, visit my Etsy shop if you want to um, see some of the other journals that I have for sale. So, and I'll put a link in the description um, for that, as well as, I think I'm going to start linking my Instagram in there too, um, and I recently opened a Shopify account, so i um, hoping to get that up and running here pretty soon as well. So, anyway, thanks again, you guys. Take care.